So in this video, we're going to look at using your custom object values to personalize your marketing emails and also the journey that the customer goes on. So the first thing we need to do is under more, go and have a look at how we've got our Salesforce account connected. So in this case, I've already got Salesforce connected and I'll take you through the custom objects that I have for this particular account. Now, if you don't have your Salesforce account, you can obviously go and connect it as a data source and follow the steps because this is what you need to do first. So let's have a look at our data model. So I've got a number of what we call the default objects connected. So that's things like opportunity, lead, contact, and task. And if I go show selected uh, objects, so these are all the objects we have in sync. I've also got these custom objects. So I've got the loan object, the loan application, and the repayment schedule. So the loan object is just related to a contact because a contact has a loan. And you can see the fields that I'm syncing from the loan here as well. And then below that, I've got loan application. So a loan application is also attached to a contact because a person uh, applies for a loan. But then I've got the repayment schedule and the repayment schedule is attached to the loan object. So that tells us uh, the, the different payments that are required for that particular loan, things like the interest rate and various other information. So under this object, you'll see you've got set identifiers up here. And uh, you can see that we're saying that the parent object here is the loan. So the, we've got the repayment schedule attached to the loan and you can pick based on various IDs uh, just to teach auto uh, the, the connections in your uh, object schema. So we're saying the repayment schedule is connected to the loan. Uh, so that's how to set it up. I'm just gonna get out of that because it's already configured nicely here. So we've got the loan, uh, loan application and repayment schedule. So back to our campaign view here. So we're going to look at a scenario where we have a new loan application and we wanna create a journey to follow up with the customer, introduce the representative from the company that is gonna be handling the loan and helping process it and, and automate that process. So we're going to say new campaign, we'll select journey and then hit next. We'll say start from scratch and then we're going to give it a name. So we'll call it loan application process and we'll say they match a particular filter. So you can see once we go into the filter here under our customer data platform, we've got all the objects and we've got the activity. So we wanna start this particular journey once someone applies for a loan or, or completes a loan application. So we'll choose loan application created because this is the, the real time activity occurring once they complete the application. So loan application created and we'll say occurs. So in Salesforce, once a new record is created in the loan application object, this activity will be created in auto. So it's saying people enter when loan application created occurs. So now we'll go and edit the journey and let's look at how we can use the values on our custom objects to change the journey here as well. So the first thing we'll do is split the journey based on a condition because there's two types of loans our fictitious modern financial has, a car loan and a personal loan and I think a home loan as well, but we'll have different processes for each one. So we'll select condition, we'll say start from scratch and then we're gonna go and select the filter control here and we wanna go all the way down to our loan application created. We'll say has occurred and then we're gonna say where and then we're going to pick the loan type and say is, and this would be uh, say car, car loan. And so you'll see, we get a response here, a, a, a preview of a record that already has a car loan in the object. So loan application created has occurred where type is car loan. So now we can give this a cleaner name on the condition. So we'll say is car loan, and then it'll branch this out into a yes or no path. So let's go and create the email now using some values from the loan application if it is a car loan. So under yes, we'll click email and we'll say create new email. So we'll call this uh, loan application follow-up just to keep it nice and clean. And then in the subject, we'll say thanks for applying now, 
in this case, we, we know it's already uh, a car loan, but say we didn't and we just wanted to have one single email based on whatever loan type it was. So under the merge tag control here, we'll go down and we'll select loan application created and then we'll select loan type and you'll see it gives us previews of values. So home loan and car loan. Uh, so that will automatically substitute in the loan type for us. So thanks for applying for loan type. Your application is being processed. That's what we want to say. Now below that, we can keep our from name and from email as the business itself. But what would be really nice in here is to put the from name and from email from the assigned representative uh, on our end within Salesforce. So because we know a uh, loan application is associated with a contact, what we want to do is find the contact owner. So this is the person in our Salesforce account that owns the loan application or has been assigned the loan application. So let's go and find that. So we'll say contact owner and we want to select contact owner name. So that's now going to substitute in the owner of the, uh, the contact and therefore the owner of this particular loan application. Obviously, if there was a different owner of the application versus the relationship with the contact here, you could select that field directly off the loan or loan application as well. So on the from email, we're going to say contact owner email this time. And this is going to give us the email address of the uh, contact owner. So these will automatically mean that the email comes from the person that's been assigned the loan application. So the next step is to select, select a template. So we'll just pick a pretty basic template here just for the sake of this demo. And let's get on to personalizing our email here using some of the data off that custom object. So we'll say hi, and then we want to select first name uh, in our merge tag control here. And we'll say, thanks. Actually, we'll say my name is, we'll introduce ourselves. And we'll select contact owner name. So that'll give the full name. And my role is, and then we can select contact owner, say title here. And that, that will put in their job title. So this is all coming off the, the profile that the, the user has set up in Salesforce. There's some default profile fields and, and this is where we're getting that information from. So my name is, in my case, it'd be Michael Sharkey and my role is, you know, loan specialist. Congratulations on applying for. And then this is where we can reference data off that custom object. So we can say loan application created and we're going to go back down and select our loan type. And we'll say for the amount of, and then down here, we'll select again, the loan application created and then the loan amount. And that's gonna put in all that, uh, all that information. I'll just go and fix that spelling there. So this is gonna say, my name is Michael Sharkey and my role is loan specialist. Congratulations on applying for a car loan for the amount of say $60,000. And then I'm excited to get your application process. To do that, we need you to complete some steps and you can actually put the steps in here. Um, so, you know, listing like the steps that they have or have not completed as, as well as some variable content, but I, I won't do that for this demo just cause it'll take way too long. So let's now put in a button and it, it could be like log into client area. We'll make that bold just so it looks a bit nicer and just get rid of some of this text. I'll then just duplicate this text area, put another one below. And this is where we want to put in the signature of that, uh, of that particular agent. So we'll say kind regards, let's get that font size back up to say 16 or are we going higher 18? And then again, we just want to put in some of this information off the record. Now you can see it's starting to remember the frequently used merge tags. So we can say here, contact owner name, uh, and then we want to say contact 
owner title as well. So we want that job role in here. And you could work out a nice custom signature here as well. So for phone, we'll say contact owner phone. Um, and, and you could have multiple phone numbers and things like that as well. So there, there's a rough signature for you, but you can see now how we've personalized this email based on values from custom objects really easily. And we're just browsing that Salesforce schema, uh, you know, like it's nothing to, to get the data on. Uh, and it's, it's understanding the relationship of that object to that person within the context of this journey. So let's go next. We'll review our email uh, and get that ready to put into our journey. Now, if you have people you want to test within here, you can actually select different different contacts to see what variables uh, what variables will render based on the particular relationship with that person. So I don't have any variables in here to demonstrate with very well, but it's a really handy feature to simulate what it will look like from a particular person. Okay, so we'll publish that email out and we have our loan application follow-up email. Now, if we wanted to do the same on the right-hand side here for a different loan type, we can go and duplicate down that path. But let's just assume we also wanna send them a text message from the person responsible for their loan. So we'll come in here and we'll say SMS create new and we'll call this loan follow-up as our SMS. And it's it's pretty much the same process. So your, and then we can say loan type again, loan type, it's remembering it now, which is great. So your loan type, your car loan is being processed. Please check your email to complete uh, verification steps or something like that. So a nice text message there that we're sending them again, referring to the relevant uh, data from the object that, that, we, that we need here. I don't have SMS set up on this account, so I'll just exit out of that. So this gives you an idea of just using that uh, particular data in the journey. Now, one of the things that often happens when you're using values of custom objects in Salesforce is sometimes you have the use case where you wanna have a journey where the journey is referring to this record in a custom object, but the user could have lots of these uh, happening at one time. So someone might apply for two loans in quick succession while they're still going down this journey. So to, to fix that problem, we can say that people can be in the journey more than once and enter multiple times. And we might wanna exit them based on certain values changing. So here in the exit criteria, we could have them exit based on a loan maybe being rejected um, or some sort of status change. So here we can say loan application update occurs where, and with the where we can say application status is uh, you know denied or something like that. Now, the cool part about this is you'll see this special option appears, match with entry activity attribute. And what that enables us to do is exit people based on the object changing. So if you're in this journey three times based on three applications and one of them gets rejected, we wanna eject that session in the journey related to that person for that particular loan. We don't wanna eject them all. So what we're gonna say here is match with entry activity attribute and we'll select the attribute that we wanna match them up with. That could be uh, like contact ID or or in that case, uh, that would do exactly what I said just not to do. So we'll just call it like the loan ID. And um, what that'll mean is that the they'll only be rejected based on that particular loan application ID. So you just don't get into this situation where you have, you're, you're rejecting someone out of the journey uh, for every session related to a loan application or whatever it is relevant to your business going through the journey. Hopefully I'm explaining that that well uh, enough for you to understand, but it's a really great feature because it means that you're traveling through the journey based on your relationship to an object as opposed to just having an email um, or, or being a person in the database. All right, so that is a really quick how-to on how to use your custom object values in auto. 
there's obviously a lot of capability here and so many different things that uh, you can do. If you do need help with specific use cases around Salesforce, please do reach out to our team. They'd be more than happy to help you with your specific use case. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you want to see other how-to videos like this, stay subscribed here on YouTube to the Auto Channel. I'll see you in the next one.